We're called to live in community. We're called to look out for one another. When we do, everyone benefits. Pope Francis writes, local individuals and groups can make a real difference. But where to begin? Communities can be big or small. Members may live close to one another or far away. Individuals may agree on things or have different opinions. The church teaches us that communities are strong when families are strong. St. John Paul II wrote, the first and fundamental structure for a human ecology is the family. Families are small communities that form individuals to take part in larger communities and make a difference in the world. That's why Catholic Relief Services works to strengthen and support families no matter where they live. It's why when Christian returned to Sri Lanka to find his family's farm in shambles, CRS was there to help. Christian was forced to flee to India when he was 14 years old due to the civil war in Sri Lanka. 16 years passed before he could return home. It's not easy for refugees to rebuild their lives after a conflict, and Christian's move from India to Sri Lanka was no different. I had my own place in India, and I was working. They paid me well. We were comfortable. But then, Christian had to quit his job. He returned to Sri Lanka even though he was afraid. The war was still going on when I returned. I didn't want to get caught in the violence, but I did want to see the place that I'd left when I was a child. Soon after returning home, Christian got married, but he and his new wife, Tarshini, needed help. Their farm was overgrown, which meant it couldn't produce crops. Fortunately, CRS was there to help. CRS provided funds to help us when no other organization would. We used them to clear our land. Now, Christian and Tarshini have three sons. Christian is able to give his children something he never had growing up as a refugee, an education. I keep telling them to study because I haven't completed my studies. I want my children to be serious about their education. My wife wants it too. Christian's oldest son, Isaac, wants to be a pastor. Their middle son, Godwin, wants to be a scientist. It is important to Christian that his children learn to care for the community. Even if we don't have all we need, we still need to give to the needy. We teach that to our children. 